Islam is the second most widely professed religion in France, behind only Christianity. It has the largest number of Muslims in the Western world, primarily due to migration from Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, Turkey, Sub-Saharan Africa, Middle Eastern countries, Asia, mostly Pakistan and Bangladesh, and converts. CIA, Central Intelligence Agency, estimates 7 to 9 percent for number of Muslims in France in 2015. According to the Pew Research Center, Muslims make up 5.8 percent of the population of France in 2017. The World Population Review estimated in 2020 that 8.8 percent of the French population is Muslim. Pure Research Center predicts, the Muslim population would rise to 8.6 million, or 12.7 percent of the country in 2050. After their conquest of Spain, Muslim forces pushed into southern France. They were defeated at the Battle of Tours in 732, but held Septimania until 759. In the 9th century, Muslim forces conquered several bases in southern France including Freix and Et. They were expelled only in 975. During the winter of 1543-1544, after the Siege of Nice, Toulon was used as an Ottoman naval base, under the admiral known as Hayred and Barbarossa. The Christian population was temporarily evacuated, and Toulon Cathedral was briefly converted into a mosque, until the Ottomans left the city. After the expulsion of the Moriscos from Spain in 1614, about 50,000 Moriscos entered France. Muslim immigration was high in the late 1960s and 1970s. The immigrants came primarily from Algeria and other North African colonies. People of Maghrebi origin in France represent 82% of the Muslim population, 43.2% from Algeria, 27.5% from Morocco, and 11.4% from Tunisia. Others are from Sub-Saharan Africa, 9.3%, and Turkey, 8.6%. There were 3.5 million people of Maghrebi origin living in France in 2005, corresponding to 5.8% of the total French metropolitan population, 60.7 million in 2005. They have settled mainly in the industrial regions in France, especially in the Paris region. There are currently about 2,300 mosques in France with a further 200 to 250 planned. And some are closed in 2020 by the French government for a sensitive case. The Great Mosque of Paris was built in 1922. It is one of the largest mosques in France. In 2019, Kaina Barloul, Eva Janadine, and Aunt Sophie, became the first female imams to lead Muslim prayers in France. The great majority of Muslims practice their religion in the French framework of laicite, as religious code of conduct must not infringe the public area. According to the study, 39% pray five times, and 70% observe the fast of Ramadan. Some Muslims in France alter some of these religious practices, particularly food practices, as a means of showing integration into French culture. Some Muslims request the recognition of an Islamic community in France with an official status. Two main organizations are recognized by the French Council of Muslim Faith, the Federation of the French Muslims, with a majority of Moroccan leaders, and the controversial, Union of Islamic Organizations of France. In 2008, there were about 2,125 Muslim places of worship in France. Since publicly funded state schools in France must be secular, owing to the separation of church and state, Muslim parents who wish their children to be educated at a religious school, often choose private Catholic schools, of which there are many. 
few specifically Muslim schools have been created. The first Muslim college opened its doors in 2001 in Aubervilliers, a suburb northeast of Paris. These religious schools are affordable for most parents since they may be heavily subsidized by the government, teachers' wages in particular are covered by the state. In October 2020, the unemployment among Muslims was far higher at 14% than the population at large 8%. In 1994, the French Ministry for Education sent out recommendations to teachers and headmasters to ban Islamic veil in educational institutions. In 2009, President Nicolas Sarkozy declared that, the Islamic burqa is not welcome in France. In 2010, a study shows that, Muslims sending out resumes in hopes of a job interview had 2.5 times less chance than Christians with similar credentials of a positive response to their applications. Other examples of discrimination against Muslims, include the desecration of 148 French Muslim graves near Arras, in April 2008. A pig's head was hung from a headstone, and profanities insulting Islam, and Muslims were daubed on some graves. A number of mosques have also been vandalized in France over the years. On 14 January 2015, it was reported that, 26 mosques in France had been subject to attacks since the Charlie Hebdo shooting in Paris. In 2017, a man who suffered from schizophrenia, attempted to ram his vehicle into a crowd of worshippers exiting a mosque in Crete, a suburb of Paris, though no one was injured. In 2019, the French Institute for Public Research, conducted a study based on a sample of 1,007 Muslims, aged 15 and above. According to the study, 40% of Muslims in France felt that, they were discriminated against. More than, a third of these instances, were recorded in the past five years, suggesting an increase in the overall mistreatment of Muslims in France over recent years. The survey found that, 60% of women wearing a headscarf were subject to discrimination. 37% of Muslims in France have been a victim to verbal harassment or defamatory insults. 44% of Muslim women, who don't wear headscarves, found themselves being a victim to verbal harassment or defamatory insults. 13% of incidents of religious discrimination happened at police control points, and 17% happened at job interviews. 14% of incidents occurred, while the victims were looking to rent or buy accommodation. The French Institute for Public Research stated that, 24% of Muslims were exposed to verbal aggression during their lifetime. In addition, 7% of Muslims were physically attacked, according to the French Ministry of Interior. 154 anti-religious acts targeted Muslims, plus 54%. In October 2020, the government of President Emmanuel Macron announced a crackdown in Muslim communities, and shut down 76 mosques, and has increased surveillance of about 50 Muslim associations in France, for the killing of teacher Samuel Petty, who had shown his pupils cartoons of profit in class on free speech, where it was seen as an attack on the republic itself. Gerald Darmanin said, the mosques would be inspected, and any found to be breeding grounds of terrorism would be shut.